collision between Curtis Razorblades and Bruce Lee. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. All right, here's the heavyweight wrestler, Curtis Razor Blades, representing Team Elevation there in Colorado. And here's a guy who, at least on paper, has more takedowns secured offensively than any fighter in UFC heavyweight history. You know, they talk about specialists. And at times, you find a guy that's so good at one skill that you know what's coming and you can't stop it. Curtis Blades is one of those guys. He's a national wrestling champion. He's very big. He's very skilled, and he has great cardio. The great cardio allows him to press this wrestling style on guys, and they can't keep up with him. He is solely one of the top five heavyweights in the world. And he's certainly got a good work rate for this heavyweight division. Works as hard in training as anybody. Still in search of that elusive first championship opportunity. Big spot for Curtis Razor Blades here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. And now, for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 17 wins, four losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, Curtis Racer! Okay, protect yourself at all times, obey my command at all times. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the outside. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. All right, so there it is, the early takedown. He told everyone here during fight week within earshot that he was going to try to wrestle, try to get this fight to the ground, and had no problem doing so just then. During their fight camp, they made a checklist, and they checked off the most important part of the fight, getting an early takedown. Come on, bro. Keep those hands up for me. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Well, 
While the ground and pound is there once again, strong work here by Curtis Blades. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and is very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. I mean, how many can he take? Lands with the ground and pound here. Arch, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Relentless pressure from the top by Curtis Blades. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Blades. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hit the skate. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. 68 total strikes have landed for the heavyweight Curtis Blades. Nice one-two there by Lee. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. I need you to get that takedown now. Man, has he come out aggressively to start this fight and landing at a pretty good clip too, connecting on a lot of shots up top to the body. Very technical striker, but tonight really as aggressive approach as we've seen out of him in his UFC career. Big kick land. Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. And they separate. Checks that leg kick. 20 seconds to go. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Round two next. So for one fighter, the round mercifully comes to an end as we look back at some of the action. What a display of ground and pound. It's his calling card. It's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a brutal ground and pound fighter, and he showed you just then why he's known as that in the MMA sphere. He's the guy that if he gets you down, he will dominate you with positioning and brutal, nasty ground and pound. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back in range. Another clinch position. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. Right hand punch to the clinch. Another punch to the head. He's 
really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Watch the shot to the body. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Nice punch, man. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Blades gets hit with that hook. That one had some pop behind it. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. All right, he engages in the same collar tie. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Solid strike on the ground. Sound strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Under two minutes to go in the round. Able to land the single ground strike there. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Blades. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, useful strike on the ground that was. One minute now to go round two. Useful strike there. The ground and pound on point tonight. Ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Blades. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. 15 seconds. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. Standing over his opponent here and making these strikes count. Beautiful sequence there by Blades. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. 
Continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Lee's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Still nice body kick lands. Just out of the range with that right hand. Good stick. Oh, level change. Nice trip to get the takedown. Now Blades is much safer position here being in side control. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Lee. Lands with the ground and pound. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. I mean, how many can he take? Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Blades. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Back mount now. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground zone. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. The ground and pound has been there all night. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top by Curtis Blades. Lands the ground and pound strike here. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Well, he's got his back now. Now he'll try to start attacking a rear naked choke from the top position. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. He takes his opponent to his side to try to get the finish. Looks like his opponent's trying to turn into the choke here, but there's a lot of pressure. Oh, he might have got it with the choke. Wow. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off. Move the half. Wow. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Single collar tie now. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Lee's eye now closing up. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Good work from the top here by Blades. 
Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Missed with that right hand. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. So there's the horn, that means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels and got to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. All right, so we'll see how it goes here in this round. Previous round, it was all him just taking his opponent down, really every time he entered. Yeah, every time he got in on the leg, he was able to secure a finish. And that is the idea you want as a wrestler going into a fight. If you have to change up the technique, it's fine. It's not always gonna be the very first attack. When it's the first attack, you're very happy. But most times, you've got to change things together if you want to take down a great fighter. And we know how hard it is to maintain in wrestling, right? The hours required in the gym to make sure that wrestling's still at a high level. He's putting in the time. Yes, he's putting in the time. And also, you see it in his movement. When he gets to an attack, he's constantly shifting position. He's constantly moving his opponent. He's constantly trying to give him too much information to process. Right. And that comes from a lifetime of wrestling. If he just started this, it would be very difficult to trick his opponent. But now, by giving him so many different looks, he's been able to secure takedown after takedown after takedown. And they both stand up. Look at him, Charlie. Oh! What a fantastic strike to go at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Those are big strikes. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, working inside the close guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the grounded pound starts. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh oh up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck, and he will have to submit. Blades has got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. Under three minutes remain in round four. Deal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Lou. This position now, what we call the north-south. If you're the bottom fighter, what are you trying to do to get out of harm's way? Man, it's tough on the bottom. It's very tough because everything hurts, right? right? It doesn't matter that they're not completely driving the shoulder in. It just, everything hurts. So you wait for your opponent to go to his next action. And when he does, you go and attack the hands. You get to your knees and you attack the hands with both hands and try to peel the lock so you can get to your feet. position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Curtis Blades. Lee's eye looks so swollen now, you've got to at least speculate as to whether or not that is a fractured orbit. All right, it's a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life in the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Grounded 
pound strike there now. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Curtis Blades. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh yeah, no pity back to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Blades. All right, let's look back at some of the action. DC, your good friend Mark Coleman, the godfather of the ground and pound, would be proud. He'd be very proud. He'd be very proud with the way that he showed his ability to use his ground and pound. He didn't waste any action. He did everything he needed to do. He was able to posture. He was able to control risk. He did everything perfectly in his approach in that ground and pound sequence. I want you to stay sharp. Don't get sucked into that crap. I want you All right, DC, here we go with our next round. And how about the ground and pound skills in the previous round? His opponent better make some adjustments or mom's not going to recognize him. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. He's got no action to change this because the, this guy on top is so good with his pressure. He's not even controlling your body with his hands. And that's the detail that everybody's missing. He's sitting in the half guard, and his bottom half is securing his opponent. So his top half is moving. It's adjusting. He's posting his hands on his, on his face, dropping elbow. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, big left hook there. Nice high kick. Oh, that's a good strike there. Oh, there, DC, he is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Oh, he's good. He's hurt bad. He got him bad! There. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Blades. Side control now. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Lee's pass attempt to not. Able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Curtis Blades. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. He's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Curtis Blades. Two minutes now to go in this one. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately. And, he's and that's going to do it. Damage. Oh, 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 It's over. It's over. <laughs> you knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush. And the rest, as they say, is history. 
big knockout win for him here tonight. And here we go inside the octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, 11 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Curtis Wilson! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this 